chose to sit back and do nothing. Ed, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get to the Capitol in Trenton? Uh, I really don't know. That's, that's the key factor. I don't know what I don't know, so I will learn what I need to know. And I'm going to guarantee you one thing. I will be the voice and people will hear me because if there's one thing people will learn about me, I got a big mouth and I don't <laughs> shut up. When I want to be heard, I'm going to be heard. Well, I will th let. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Finish your thought. I, w I was just going to say that I, I, I will be that voice for the people because. Wow. You absolutely love to see it. A politician saying, well. I don't really know what I'm going to do. This, of course, being the truck driver that just won a very important political seat in New Jersey after just spending $153 on his campaign and kicking out an incumbent established Democrat from office. Only if we had more politicians like this that were honest and didn't know what they were doing, I think the world would be a, a way better place. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org. A lot of very important issues to get into today as it looks like there's a major setback for this administration as it looks like they are backing down temporarily from one of their hardened positions. What will be the effects of this? How will this play out? What will other places like New York City do? Well, we're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all on this independent media organization as it definitely looks like the tides have turned here. Now, I, I was thinking about starting off today's videos with just the corporate establishment mainstream press doubling down on their insanity, on their insane, deranged assertions, which essentially are blaming everyone for their problems, for their mistakes, for their downfalls, all on a boogeyman that is becoming as elusive as it is non-existent and uh, truly, I believe the libs of TikTok categorized this moment very carefully, picking it in this short clip, which I think is fairly accurate. Now, when the corporate media is not going on unhinged rants, they usually are doing the bidding of many powerful industries in this country, including, of course, the military industrial complex, a large network of government and corporate organizations that, of course, are in the business of war. And today, we're finding out that the Pentagon decided to investigate itself, and they announced that there was no wrongdoing in an airstrike that they previously lied through their teeth about that slaughtered 10 innocent civilians, many of which were, of course, children. Yes, if you remember, a couple days ago, after, of course, the botched Afghanistan, quote, rescue missions, there was an attack on a, quote, ISIS-K group, a name that literally w was invented by the military-industrial complex that allegedly stopped a major attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. But later, we found out that this wasn't ISIS-K. This was an aid worker and many of his children and an important member of the community in Afghanistan that was helping provide people clean drinking water. The United States assassinated him and his family without any recourse. And now the Pentagon is announcing that this was all done not because of misconduct or negligence and no one should be held responsible here. Now imagine killing an aid worker and seven of his children, lying about them in this entire incident, and then saying, well, we're not responsible here. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's a level of sociopathic behavior that is absolutely incredibly dangerous and highlights an empire with no moral backbone. What message does this send to the world? But most importantly, what message does this send to the American people? As, of course, this is the same government asking more from you, wanting to take away more of your rights, more of your liberties, more of your wealth, all in the name of their ideology and their government that does and commits such atrocities. To blindly have faith in such an empire is blind to say the least and absolutely idiotic and moronic and hey that's the message that we've been talking about for years now all exclusively here on wearechange.org we also launched another platform not so long ago called lukeuncensored.com this is a part of our sponsor lounge that has content on it for close to 10 years yes 
You can get 10 years of content all exclusively here on LukeUncensored.com that's only available to, of course, our members. Today we're releasing yet another exclusive video about Dr. Fauci looking like a deer in headlights after yet again being questioned by Rand Paul. As, of course, there's new shocking information and something absolutely strange and worrying happening all throughout this country in major hospitals. What's going on here? Why are record amounts of young people getting hurt here? Why will more of them most likely get hurt? Well, we're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all exclusively later on today on LukeUncensored.com and I hope to see you there. Also, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is also one of our proud creations that says you will own nothing and you will be happy with, of course, a perfect depiction of Klaus Schwab implementing his policies Unto you. And if you want that shirt, you can get it exclusively on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. The link is also down in the description below. Now, the same government that executes small children and sees no problem with it at all has also been recently canoodling with, of course, the corporate billionaire elite recently, as, of course, they had a private jet summit recently in order to pretty much figure out how to make the peasants pay more for energy while trying to limit their travel and everyday activities. Biden, of course, is taking the orders from the global elite very well, as he is also planning to increase the price of energy for the average American, which has already skyrocketed under his presidency but now he's doing this all in the name of helping the, quote, environment, when in reality, the United States is just going to be importing more oil from Saudi Arabia and taxing and regulating more people. So energy, gas, and heating just become more expensive for the average American. Now, as the Biden administration is becoming more egregious and aggressive as economically, it's important to note here that the Biden administration just recently announced that they are taking one step back and postponing the deadline to which they will implement a mandate that will force many businesses to jump through yet another government hoop of compliance by making sure all companies that have more than 100 employees be forced to take a procedure that might not be right for all of the employees. Yes, the Biden administration just announced that they are postponing their deadline for this procedure mandate up until January 4th. This as of course, many business and industry leaders previously just met with the Biden administration a few days ago, asking him to postpone this mandate. It looks like he did listen. As of course, many people are expecting utter chaos to ensue if these mandates take place. We'll explain why in just a little bit, but but as planned, Biden wants to implement his mandate, which would literally send out OSHA government workers to check in on businesses and workplaces to make sure that they are compliant with making sure that they're following the whims of Biden or face violations and fines up to $136,000. This, of course, is going to be something very difficult for many companies to comply with. I think this is why they have extended this deadline. It was originally supposed to be implemented in a few days from now. And even though this is an extremely egregious and aggressive policy, we still have to note that there's a step back while, of course, many places around the world have foregone a lot of these mandates, including even Quebec and even Ontario. Just announced that they will not be requiring health care workers and staff to comply with these mandates. These, of course, are some of the biggest providences in all of Canada and make up the majority of the population there. And this is also yet another major step back against the mandates, as we might even see places like New York City implement similar measures like Canada just did. As, of course, even basic essential services are not running correctly in New York City because of that local government implementing their own mandates. Right now, there's also piles of trash all over New York City, which is nothing new, but, but now they have a lot more trash as a result because of these mandates and many sanitation workers saying, uh, no, I'm just not going to comply here. And very surprisingly, the mayor, the new mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, just announced that he will, quote, revisit these mandates and make a decision about them. This as he just faced off with many anti-mandate protesters in New York City that were outside of his office, as of course the majority of, of workers, a lot of people, a significant amount of them do not want these mandates, will not be complying with them. Even in liberal bastion cities like 
New York City, Alabama just passed a law allowing businesses to provide exemptions for its employees. The state of Florida and Texas just said, screw you, we're not going to be complying with any of this, setting off many important battles that are going to probably be fought in the Supreme Court. As we need to highlight here, something that the mainstream media has not been talking about, that there has been a major workers' rebellion in this country because of this policy, which Biden now is pushing the deadline back on. Even Reuters said from Boeing to Mercedes, a U.S. workers rebellion swells over these mandates. And we need to understand here that there's a significant portion of individuals, of people not going all along with this. Now, we still have a long ways away from, of course, January when Biden wants to implement his decree, his, his mandate. What will happen between now and then? Well, Anything's possible, as of course, even the Epoch Times is reporting that there are some major problems within the clinical trials of this product that is being mandated on people. We're going to be talking about this all exclusively on LukeUncensored.com, as of course, there's even a whistleblower coming forward saying that some data was falsified here. And if this is true, this completely changes the game. The United Kingdom also just announced that it's going to be the first country that's going to be approving an antiviral pill to treat this sickness. And with alternatives popping up, including monocule antibodies, which I just personally took. I talked about that in yesterday's video with my exposure to the sickness. Anything's possible. Anything could happen. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this mandate absolutely fails. Now, of course, the, the government doesn't always need an excuse to go after and strangle small businesses or destroy the livelihoods, destroy the competitors to, of course, their, their corporate billionaire class. But uh, I definitely think that this is a, a far overreaching request that I do believe unilaterally will be denied. That's just my own personal perspective, my own personal opinion. It's very optimistic, but we will see how it will play out. I'm doing yet another video on LukeUncensored.com. If you haven't watched the one from yesterday, I would definitely recommend watching it since I pretty much detail how uh, Rogan paid for my medical expenses, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate it very much. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. This is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.